Kelsey, say, oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Full of personality, two-year-old Kelsey was a bright light in the Briggs family. A beautiful little blue-eyed girl. Uh, we would sing Itsy Bitsy Spider. I would sing with her and she'd say, no, Papa, I sing. It's a cherished memory, but also a painful one for the toddler's grandfather, Royce Briggs, because there should have been many more. Did you get all the stuff you wanted from Easter Bunny? Uh-huh. You did? I wanted to get more. You wanted to get more? We did everything within our power legally uh, to try to bring safety and protection to Kelsey and it didn't work. Records show the toddler was abused and died in October of 2005 from a blow to her abdomen, months after the court sent her back to live with her mother, Radon Smith. I saw Kelsey, I saw the, 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 the marks on her and I saw the broken legs and the broken collarbone and uh, it, was, it was just too obvious that she was being abused. Smith was sentenced to 27 years for the abuse. Her ex-husband cut a deal to have first-degree murder charges dropped, agreeing to 30 years for enabling child abuse. Either she knew that, that he was abusing her, or she should have known that he was abusing her. And, and the law makes no distinction between whether you knew or should have known. Now Smith is fighting that notion, hoping to have her sentence commuted. Ray had no way of actually knowing about any abuse. Radon Smith is a wonderful example of excessive sentencing here in Oklahoma, especially when you look at the disparity um, in her case between her um, and the person who actually sexually abused and murdered her almost three-year-old daughter. Smith's lawyer says Porter was put into protective custody, meaning there's no way of knowing if he's even still in prison. You cannot locate him on OK Offender um, as you can anyone else who is in DOC custody. As for Smith, who's now 44 years old, we met her in Mabel Bassett Correctional Center back in November when our cameras were allowed in for a discussion on criminal justice reform. The way I see justice is I want should have known taken out of the failure to protect statute. Should have known. Should have known because it states new or should have known. And it has become a loophole for prosecutors to throw mothers in prison. It is our position that the judge and jury got it right. It seems like they're trying to, to, uh, to go around uh, the rule of law. A former Oklahoma lawmaker, Chris Steele, who pushed for changes to the state's child protection system in the wake of Kelsey's death, is now supporting Smith's bid for clemency. Ray Smith was not even at home at the time the incident involving the death of her daughter occurred. We cannot continue to hold women at a higher standard than we do the actual abuser. What does justice look like to you in this case? Well, first and foremost, I think uh, justice looks like equality. And I think it also involves uh, going back and, and correcting mistakes that, that have been made. Mistakes that tragically won't bring back Kelsey or help heal the pain that the Briggs family is feeling. Now it's about the justice for Kelsey. I believe Kelsey deserves justice for what happened to her. And I don't know that that's even, even that's justice, but she should be due all the justice possible under the laws of the state.